welcome back to episode 5. We've made it here to the armory and we're just going to do a search to see if there's any good weapons or armour that we can use. These spalders could be an upgrade for Darren, I suppose. At this point we already have the best gambeson we can, but we might want a better colour. It looks like the armour is quite disappointing, there's nothing too good that we really need to take. We've still to search the rest of the east of this level before we go to the catacombs. So I guess it's time to break a leg and get that done. Before we head this way I should go pull the lever on this one so the gate can be accessed from the other side. Interesting looking bardish. Extremely well made. Hmm. Give them a quick brush. And happy birthday, Darren. I'll hold off on using an upgrade sphere on them just yet, just in case we find a better colour. It's less common to take hits in the legs, anyway.
seem to like sneaking up on us today. To get to the east side of the level, we're going to have to head north, back the way we came, and then we should be able to get in from there, as the door on the south where we came in is actually locked. So that's the direction we're going to head in. Hmm? Where did he come from? Fortunately, he was going the same way we were. It would probably help if I actually activated my mind sense and then I would be able to see them before they see us. Looks like that was the temporary cast. I'll need to put the permanent cast in this place because I'll never really use the temporary one. The permanent one will take a permanent chunk out my mana. You see it there in purple? So long as mind sense is active, I'll not get that mana back. A small price to pay to be able to see the minds of others through walls and doors. And here we are, exactly where we were trying to get to. We'll head through here and then into the further east side. Every time I see this archery range, I think about how bows are going to be added to the game one day. Exciting and terrifying at the same time. Looks like an arena. Nothing exciting about that sort. quick check to see what rooms are up ahead. An upgrade spear. That'll do.
locked and we don't have the key. We're gonna have to head back and take the corridor to the east. But not before checking that gravity still works. I just noticed that we've actually unlocked barrier, so we should add that to our spells and we should learn something new. I guess kinesis could come in useful later in the game as we'll be able to move things from a distance. This is a bit confusing right now. So on the map, we're here, but it's saying that there isn't a doorway here. I guess this is just more evidence that the map hasn't been updated with the map overhauls. So this looks correct. I just needed to confirm that I was in the right place and not confused. I guess we will head down this way, which will take us down these dormitory rooms up ahead. But before we head this way, we should probably check the large room to the north first. I might change to these eventually, but I would like some steel shoes to go with them. What's all the commotion in here? Looks like somebody had one too many. Extremely well made. quick brush as always. I've no idea where that zombie has been before he gifted me these trousers. So it's only civilised to give them a quick brush. I guess I can wear these normal shoes for now. So not very much to be found in here. I guess we'll head back south.
Nothing exciting in here. I better go grab the walking obstacle that is there. So we're here, we need to think about where we're going to go next. Probably north. Extremely well made. Could be worth holding on to that one. But it looks like Darren already has an extremely well made one. The stats also look pretty much the same as mine just now, but mine's looks less rusty. That might change if we use an upgrade sphere on it later. For now, it's not an important armour piece. Nothing in here, it seems. There's still a room to the north that we want to check before we continue south to the catacombs. Looks like this used to be a healing salve, but is now empty. I would lick the jar, but it won't let me. And here be the key for the southern door. We've gone up a level and I'll need to have a think about what I want to learn next. Great sphere is always welcome.
I should probably test out this barrier. Seems to work. Let's test it in a more tactical setting. Nice. It's pretty fast at casting. So what to learn? Maybe just more armour for now. We're always going to need that. A new spear. A short spear. I quite like the style of the one I already have though. Looks nicer. Plus, I know it works. And that's the main thing. I could give a spear to Darren, but it could be risky as well. It could end up in my back. Quite a lot of holes in the floor again. That's a real hazard. Not sure I want to expose Darren to these hazards right now. be a half self right there. Solid armour, but the problem is the coverage is kind of terrible. I always opt for bare coverage.
I'm gonna turn to be here while I look ahead. Key inside the pouch. I think that's for the door up ahead. Bingo. No need to hold on to this and just leave it here. That door leads to the arena, which we've already been. So now we're going to grab Darren and head back to the beginning of the level. In the next episode, we'll make our way through the catacombs and onto the next floor. From here, we're only a minute away from the catacombs. So in the next episode, that's the first thing we'll be doing. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.